I remember the days when chess fans, chess players had to wait weeks, months to get the games from the Chess Olympiad. Today, the chess fans are very spoiled. They get to see the games live, and that's thanks to the DGT technology. Please tell us a few words about when and how did it get started? Well, DGT started in 1993, and the first DGT clocks were produced in 1994. And then, of course, you're very busy with your first product. But as soon as that came and was a little bit stable, we thought, okay, here we are, we have technology on the one side, we have chess on the other side. Where do those two come together? And very soon then electronic boards popped up as a subject where a lot could be done. Uh, there were some experiments with that board already in the mid-90s, but nobody really tackled the question, how do we mass produce it, how do we make it 100% reliable? And we started working on that in 96, and in 97 we were asked by FIDE, is it possible that you build 300 and something boards for the Elista Olympiad? And we said yes. Uh, and once you say yes, you have to make through on your promise and uh, we were already very far in, in developing uh, so it didn't come out of nothing and that was the first chess olympiad where we had 328 boards in one network and all the boards were recording the moves I can tell you a bit about what kind of technology that is later and basically they were in the computer and could have been brought to the internet that's rather remarkable, and today we have about 600 boards yeah. here at the Tromsø Chess Olympiad. And as far as I know, there hasn't been any hiccup, everything, all the transmission was very smooth, correct? Yeah, yeah uh, on the technology of the boards, nothing essential has changed in those last 15 years. But certainly on the level of software, uh, on the reconstruction of the data that come from the board, how do we make that into correct chess moves? To broadcast a lot of that uh, on, on that level has happened uh, where 16 years ago you really needed uh, system managers to operate the system like that now it basically is on the level that anybody with good computer knowledge using the software using the DGT board could bring a tournament live to the internet can you explain to our viewers uh, how does the chess board record the result as well uh, the result is done by a final tag where you put the kings in the center. And if you put both kings on the white center squares, then it reads white as one. If it's on the both black squares, then it is black as one. And any combination of black and white means that the game was a draw. Thank you so much and good luck with your new products. Thank you.